Hey, Rob Baldwin here, 10 Minute Photoshop and IMX Productions. And today's tutorial, we're looking at stylizing text and typography. Okay, so first thing I want to do is show you guys a great resource for uh, free fonts. So you go to up here to www.dafont.com. Click on, look at all the categories here. So we're going to click on my favorites or would be the eroded and distorted fonts because I'm a huge fan of grunge style designs. And just look at these awesome fonts that you can download for free and use in Photoshop. And look at that, it goes all the way to 41. And that's just one category. Let's check out the eroded ones here. These look at that, these are great fonts. Urban Jungle, one of my favorites right there. Birth of a Hero, another favorite. Okay, so have fun here. Download these fonts. They're they're a lot of fun to use. Okay, so let's get right into the tutorial. So I've got a design, I've got a, uh, a background here, and I used a font, and I just wrote out typography. Um, you'll notice there's already some erosion in here. That's not design, that's the font itself. So this is already, this is a really cool font. Um, okay, so let's get right to it. So techniques we're going to be using, we're going to be using um, some blending options, obviously, and then a bit of texturizing and stuff like that. So first, so all we have are two layers here. you got our background, and you got your type. First thing we're going to do is we're going to come up here to blending options. And already, let's have some fun with that. So we're going to click on bevel and emboss. I'm not a big fan of a big bevel like this. I think it looks cheesy and old-fashioned. So I keep it down to zero or maybe even maybe one. You know, let's try zero for here. And then down here, we're going to bring this to linear dodge add. We're going to bring it up 100%. This one can stay on multiply. That's the shadow. So that's probably pretty good. And you don't notice much of a change here. But as soon as I get to my, that's because the background is white. So as soon as we add a gradient. And we'll just lower the opacity. So plain black to white gradient, just lower this and give it kind of like a, a nice metal, metallic gray look to it. Now, now you can see the nice bevel and emboss. So if I turn that off, look at the difference. Pretty cool, eh? Okay, now let's add a drop shadow down here. Distance it away. That's pretty good. Not too far. And size is good at five. Too big, it's just there's nothing there. Um, too small, it just looks like a, a separate image. So five or six was pretty good. Okay, not bad. Okay, next thing we can do is we're going to copy this over. We're going to clear layer style. So remove everything. We're doing. We did a duplicate. We did a new layer out of out of it, and we cleared everything we just did. So we deleted everything we just did. So this one here, we're going to make it black, and we'll see why in a minute. And we're going to add an outer glow. Let's go with a blue color. This let's make that to linear dodge. Pretty good. Okay. Now we're going to duplicate that again. Now it looks pretty shiny. And we're going to merge those two layers together. And we're going to make a new layer, put it behind, and fill it black. And then merge those two layers together. And then switch that blending option to Linear Dodge Add. So this one goes over our last one and just puts a nice hue in the back. But I don't want it everywhere. So what we're going to do is add a layer mask. Click on the layer mask. Fill the layer mask black so it disappears. Now get yourself a nice brush, um, mid-range, I'm going with a 100 point brush here. Hardness 0 and opacity 19. And then just start ever so slightly drawing in that blue glow over your texture. So it just adds a little bit of that blue. And I'm going to add more over here, maybe a lot on the H, just so it kind of emanates from here. Like that, perfect. Okay. So now we've added a nice kind of slight kind of blue uh, aura around the back, which is really cool. So let's basically do the same steps again. So we're going to duplicate the copy, bring it on top, clear the layer style, go back to my blending options. This one here, we're going to make it all blue. It's pretty good, like that. We're going to rasterize it. We're then going to come up here to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. We're going to blur it out. Once again, put a black in the back. Merge these two together. Linear dodge out. So it's almost the same thing we just did for the, the one underneath. We're doing it again. So now we've added a kind of a glow around. Once again, add a layer mask. Fill it black. And grab your brush again. Same settings as before. And same thing we just did. Add and just paint it in slightly. So it adds that kind of blue glow over where we want it to, to be. There you go. Just like that. So again, sort of coming from over here, so we want it a little stronger there. 
Okay, so here we've added a lot of really cool stuff. Um, you can add some brushes in there. You can start brushing in some uh, some ink or some uh, some some sparklies and stuff like that. What I'm going to do though is I'm actually going to grab an image of a lens flare right here. And I'm going to come back. I'm going to paste it on top. Move it to about here. I get all my light emanating from here. I'm going to switch that to linear dodge add. Is that right about there? This now I'm just going to make it scale it so it fits the screen. Now it's a little bright, so what I'm going to do is come up to Image, Adjustment, Curves, and I'm just going to lower the angle here so it's le still power, still very bright here, but a little less of a, it, it contrasts a lot quicker. Hit OK. OK, so here we go. We went, we did a pretty, pretty fast, pretty crazy looking title. You could use this for a banner, you could use this on a poster, whatever. So very easy to work with text. Using blending options, there's a lot of options that you can do. Um, if you want some of these some of these textures and stuff and, and a lot more techniques, check out the design a poster in 10 minutes. There's a lot of tutorials in there and some templates and, and um, high-res textures that you can use not just for posters but for any design, uh, web banners, flyers, ebooks, whatever you want. Um, lastly, I'd like to put a plug in there for my new uh, short film, Zombie Jitsu. We just released it last week. It's already got a lot of views. Um, if you haven't seen it, please click the link. Please check it out. Okay, hope you liked the tutorial. Please leave a message and like this video. And check us out uh, at 10minutephotoshop.com. Twitter is IMX Productions. Thanks for watching. See you next time.